Hello everyone, as is now quite traditional, uh, I'm here at my garages in my PJs to do a bit of work on the Avora. Just want to do a little bit of an update on it really. When I got back from my drive from Edinburgh, the driver's side carpet pad was absolutely soaked. Now the guys at Craig Moncrief, they actually fixed the door seal, so I suspect that the likelihood is that that, um, that water was there from before when it had leaked in and it just stayed in there. It's like a sponge, this thing. It's absolutely unbelievable how much water. It must have been about two pints, if not more, that it had soaked up the pad. So I'm going to check that. I'm going to put some silicone as well around the, the, the door seal and then shut the door and just see if it leaves a mark all the way around to try and check if it's sealing. And lastly, maybe use a bit of um, hosing later when I wash the car. So that's the next thing as well. I'm going to give it a bit of a detail. I'm going to give it a good clean and also that I need to fit a battery, uh, a charging lead in the boot as well, because sometimes I won't use it for a week or two and I just want to make sure it doesn't... Um, it doesn't go flat and just have a good poke around really and see you know see how everything is and get to know the car so starting off with a good clean of the interior including a moisturizer cleaner for all the leather in the car and there is loads there's leather bloody everywhere Then a couple of quick washers to get the dirt off. Put work on the alloys. Cleaning the plastic trim and putting some protector on it and then a good all over wax. And this is the final result. Well, it's another day now and I am pyjama-less, but um, really pleased with the Avora. The more I sort of work on it and do stuff on it and everything else, the more I really like it. It's got some really nice detail. Another couple of things that I want to do, I'm going to fit a K&N filter and that's really just to try and get more intake noise more than anything else. I'm going to change that gear knob, which is pretty horrible and also doesn't feel very good. I'm going to look at the third cat to see it. I'm not, it's not clear if this car has the third cat or not. If it does, a relatively cheap way of increasing exhaust noise is an exhaust bypass. It's about 200 quid. So that's definitely something I'm going to be looking at. And please stick around because the next video will be the proper road test. I'm going to take it up this weekend, I think, to Oxfordshire or maybe down to the coast. Get some nice footage and let you guys know what I think. Please leave comments. Let me know what your thoughts are about this car, about the channel, what you want me to do. Um, please like, please subscribe and uh, I'll see you for the next one.